Come on, come on, please, 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 for the love of God. I'm gonna die now, aren't I? Oh, the catfish. When this vehicle first came out, it was one of the most OP vehicles in the game, as far as I know. But in a post 30G plus missile War Thunder game, I'm not feeling too confident about this one to say the least. It sits at 9.3, and although it does turn decently well for a jet fighter at its BR, and although it does get access to AIM-9Bs and AIM-9Es, it also gets no access to countermeasures in a BR where it could potentially face other aircraft that do have 30G missiles. So let's take it into battle and see if my assumptions about this aircraft are correct, in that it's one of the saddest top tier vehicles in the game now. Hopefully I don't suffer nearly as much as I did with the SB2C. Uh, let's do full tank actually. Yeah, let's do a full tank, cause I don't know how I don't remember how fast this consumes its fuel, and I don't want to take any chances of running out while I'm in the middle of a battle. Well, I do actually like that about this aircraft, it actually does come with a radar warning receiver. I really like that, actually. And we have a full up tier. How nice. But there is a chance I might find somebody who doesn't have countermeasures on him. Although, I'm using AIM-9Bs, so again, I'm not feeling too confident about this thing. Oh look, an A-10 crashed. That's not good. Actually, you know what? This low of a, this low of a BR, there shouldn't be... Well, I mean... Okay, I'm kind of conflicted here, because on one hand, at this low of a BR, there shouldn't be any advanced radars to lock onto people from, you know, above, because, you know, the ground. There's almost no chance that there'd be a pulse doppler radar at this BR. But on the other hand, if I were to go below, that would mean that I would have no altitude advantage, and anybody else who would dive on me would be a lot faster. Who should I go for? I have an altitude advantage now, and I'm about to reach Mach 1. Let's go for the Lightning, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait, is he about to... No, he's not. I thought I was going to get hit by a missile for a second. And he died. Okay, so that's no option there. Uh, Harrier. No, Hunter. Excuse me. Oh, great. My controls are locking up. I forgot about that problem with the F-100 as well. Oh, God. He turns faster, doesn't he? Uh, extreme overload. I don't want to break my wings. Come on. Don't break the wings. Are you going to break the wings? No. I guess not. Buddy, do you really want some? I have 20 mils on me. Okay, I am going faster, I'll just boom and zoom that guy. Well, at the very least, I'm playing this vehicle in like an intellectual, you know what I mean? I gave myself full f Okay, that's an A5. I think I may or may not want him. I should be able to turn faster than an A5, right? Let's find out. Come on, Super Saber. Get me close, Super Saber. There is another hunter. Of course he'd turn around on me. Oh god. Can I turn faster? I gotta find out. Alright, fine, fine, fine. I'll leave you alone, alright? I'll leave you alone. Okay, there's a missile. Ugh, god, I'm... And there I go. Okay, so... Here's what I'm noticing about the F-100. It, uh doesn't turn very well at all once you have it near Mach 1. Its controls just lock up like crazy. I mean, what kind of upgrades do I have for this thing? Do I have the the boosters? If I do, that just makes it even worse. Oh, I don't have the boosters. Okay, that's probably why then. Yeah, I'm not feeling too confident with this vehicle, guys. There is a reason why I haven't played it in a while and why I never spaded it. Unlike the F4E Phantom. Because at least the F4E Phantom gets radar missiles, in fact dogfighting missiles, and it gets AIM-9Js and countermeasures. As well as it being a hell of a lot faster than this. I don't know man, I don't think any aircraft can make me rage quit more than the SB2C. Again, why people like the SB2C so much is way beyond me. Okay, so here's what I'll do. 
I'll climb up to high altitude for with this. Oh, we got a we got a down tier. Nice. Okay, I needed that. So what I'll do is I'll climb to high altitude, and I'll not use the afterburner once I get to 5,000 meters. And an F-86 exploded right in front of me. That's nice. All right, who's my first target? Hunter. Oh, I don't have a cam ballistics computer, as expected. Let's find somebody down here and isolate a target. For the love of God, Hunter, I don't have very good I I don't I don't have very good maneuverability. Have mercy on me, please. Oh god. Uh, hunters are scary. Not this guy, though. Yeah, please go away, sir. Well, I have speed over all these targets, so I got that going for me. Is this G91 completely unaware of my presence? Oh shit, did somebody fire a missile on me already? No. Okay, we're fine. For now. For now. Okay, pass by, play passively. I still got two missiles left, that's good. I wish I had A9Es, man. Maybe that would make this thing a lot more OP, but that's the problem. If I get the boosters first, I can't get the A9Es. Alright, come on. Okay, G over G over G. And there I go. I'm probably going to die here. Make 15. I got 20 mils. What do you got? I don't know, but I got him. Head on. Let's do it. I did nothing. Come on, F-86. Okay, never mind. You guys don't want any smoke with me. CL-13? Nope. I'm running a little low on ammo here. That's okay. These guys really don't want me going back to base. That F-86 probably is about to fire a missile on me. I still have over 20 minutes of fuel left. This thing pulls so many G's. Okay, not going for that. Nope. Don't tell me he has Nords on him. Ow. I wish I was faster. Oh, my engine's overheating. That's not good. Oh, he's got a... Well... That would have been very nice to know. That would have been very nice to know first, you know what I mean? To know that the Swift does have front aspect. European jets seem to almost always have front aspect. That's what I'm noticing. So, like the Swift for example, or I'm assuming the SO4050. Yeah, them, those might be pretty tough to take out. And there goes that guy. I'm not gonna bother with him. Wait, who? Who is locking onto me right now? Come on, you bastard. I hate Sea Vixen so much. I've never, in all my years of playing War Thunder, I've never killed a Sea Vixen. That's why I want it so badly. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. 
I don't even care if I didn't get severe damage for that. I got him, and I'm happy about that. At the very least, game, can I just get one kill and just survive the entire match? Just one kill. I just want one. For fuck's sake. This is another up tier with a bunch of vehicles with all aspect missiles. That's... Just what I needed. Just what the doctor ordered. Again, at the very least, I am glad I get a radar warning receiver. That's something, you know what I mean? Ooh, MiG-21. Controller, please work. F-100, please, I would like to- oh, okay, never mind. If I try to turn, I'm gonna end up crashing, I just know it. Can I get the A in? Uh, not too confident. I could try, though. I'm probably not gonna get him. Okay, Chinese F-104. See if I can get him. Come on, please don't kill me. I just want to fire a missile. i like you to kindly piss off. Thank you. I didn't even get the kill for that one, did I? Uh, J-35, and there's probably something else on me too, isn't there? I wish I had countermeasures. Back at it again. Really? Does he have countermeasures or something? Come on, come on, please, 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 for the love of God. I'm gonna die now, aren't I? I can't compete. I can't. There's really nothing I can do. Uh, this is why I've never played the F-100D in so long. Really is just cannon fodder at this BR. It, it, that's all it is. I mean, the F-104 Starfighter may be absolutely horrible at turning, but at the very least, it's faster than almost any aircraft at its BR, and its acceleration is amazing. The F-100 doesn't even turn well. In fact, I'm willing to bet that its flaps, its combat flaps, will break if it goes beyond, like, something in, I don't know, 700 kilometers per hour. Yet, not exactly ideal, wouldn't you say so? In fact, I'm gonna test that out this match. I haven't been using the flaps at all. So, let's see if that'll make a difference. F5C, this is another full up tier. That's so nice. I really needed that. I really needed an opportunity to be cannon fodder, you know what I mean? Alright, let's see these combat- it, See? I can't even use them. I can't even use them at 600 kilometers per hour. And the worst part is, I'm do- look, checking this out right now. They make no difference on this thing. No difference. No difference with its turning performance at all. None. None. Zero. It does nothing to affect its performance, so yeah. This... This plane is hot garbage. I highly recommend you don't play it. It would make this vehicle so much easier to play if they actually had countermeasures on this, but... Historically speaking, I don't believe the F-100 ever used countermeasures, at least not this variant. And of course we're dealing with front aspect and all aspect missiles too... <laughs> In case you guys couldn't tell, I really don't enjoy this aircraft. It's not as insufferable as the SB-2C, but it's... that's not saying much, you know? Maybe I can get this MiG-19. Let's find out. I can try at the very least, right? There is nobody else on him right now. Come on, please don't lock up on me. That's the last thing I need right now. Of course, he maneuvers right when I'm firing. And there goes gunfire from that. I'm gonna die now, aren't I? A5, please don't pay attention. Please do not pay attention, A5. Oh, he's paying attention to somebody else that's firing missiles at him. And I'm too far for the uh, AIM-9B to do anything. 
Imagine that, only less than three kilometers away and I can't even use an AM9B without it failing. It's just... I fucking hate this thing so much. And what's worse is that I have a MiG-19 on me. Oh my god. I'm not gonna survive. I'm just not gonna survive. I can't... I, I lost control again. Mommy, help me. I hate this plane. I need an adult. I need an adult. I need an adult. I hate this plane so freaking much. Just get it over with. I don't even care. Just do it. Please just do it. Just, just kill me, please. Why are you showing me mercy? I'm completely defenseless. Just kill me. Just do it. I'll give you the free kill. I, I can't do anything. Just, just do it, please. F-104. F-104, get him! Why are you just... Is this out of pity? Is it because he knows I have the worst... One of the worst top tier jets in the game? That he's just showing me mercy? Gonna be honest with you, I... Th th this is just condescending. This is really just condescending. I'm not even gonna fire a missile at him. What's the point? Thank you! So that was me playing with the F-100D, and yeah, don't play this aircraft. It's not worth the suffering. It just, it's just, it's so bad. It's so awful at 9.3, and I don't understand why anybody plays this thing. It doesn't turn well, it's not that fast, and its best missiles are AIM-9Es, and those aren't really that much better than AIM-9Bs. Gotta be straight up with you guys. But if any of you enjoyed this for some very morbid reason, then I sincerely hope that you subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the thumbs up button and notification bell, and let me know in the comments what you want to see me fly next. If I have it, I will fly it. But aside from that, everybody, have a fantabulous future, and goodbye.